Um, listen, I know that this next segment is going to be a bore fest. Oh, I wish. I hate to set it up that way, but I, I agreed to this because I didn't want everyone saying I pussy out. But uh, Well, I got to say, you know, I sort of agree with what Robin's been saying. I saw Beth outside, and she looks great, and uh, which is the most important thing. But um, she seems to have the same attitude you do, and I, you do, and I didn't think she did. She said, oh, God, it's going to be such a waste of time. It it's is. It's going to be fun. I, I thought maybe she'd be a little we'll more have to. It's up to Dr. Keith to bring them out. Right. That's the job here. By the way, do you know that Beth told me last night that she wrote a, a long email to Dana just to say hi? Oh, hi, hon. Well, that's nice. And Dana didn't write her back. When? How long ago? We'll ask Beth in a minute. Hi, honey. Hi, babe. Yeah, you do look good. That dress hits a home run. Now, why would you argue with her? <laughs> Honestly, doctor. Hi, Robin. Hello. There is that question. Yeah, why would I argue with her? What is well, to argue about? Well, he's here to make well, you argue. Yeah, and yeah, I'm not I mean, saying that you'd argue I'm with her. I'm in love with her. <laughs> she looks great. She is great. She's a great person. Why would I argue with this woman? Well, she's magnificent, right? But the bottom line is arguments come from a couple different places. It might not be that you're taking issue with her. It might be that she takes issue with something that you have to say or think or feel. All right. Well, and then he's gonna, looked at you so, and he says, anybody could argue with you. Also, you're, yeah. it's, when you're at the end of a bell curve and you say you never argue, right? Because that's the consultation I've been asked to Well, well to Dr. Abelow, you said in your email to Gary, and by the way, before we get into this, didn't you write a long email to Dana, Artie's ex-girlfriend, um, recently? I did. How, she, lo how long, long ago? ago? Um, this was about two weeks ago. Really? I well, was... first of all, that's very nice of you. And secondly, I know she loves you, but... Dana, again, she she doesn't always get emails. She's been going through a crazy time. But if you want, I'll reach out and see what's. No, 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 no. I was reaching out just because I was thinking about her and I wanted to know and ho and and hear that she was happy and uh, yeah. and um. But well, I decided. Well, doesn't want to hear that she's happy. And I'm, yes, I'm I not. Do. I I'm really not, do. I'm not angry at her uh, at all. Maybe she's just, too busy I'm, with I her new boyfriend. I was a little boyfriend. bit worried, but I know she's still in school, so maybe that has something to she's do with it. Some sort I'll hear from her. Maybe she's too busy having sex to write you back. At the end of. School, it's crazy hectic. I, crime, I know that. But, uh, I know that. That was right. very nice of you. Back. It is not. It's just. It's. It's genuine. I. Ad I've adored her since the day that I met her. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I just uh, wanted to reach out and say hi. Beth you does know, everything again, right. Again, oh, during so, that that's thing, true. she really does. Like Robin even came to me and said, "You know, the way I said, uh, Robin, you know." Uh, it, it, we were talking about Roger Ebert, and I was saying I hadn't reached out. And I said, I reached out, Robin. I'm, I'm way more connected than you are. And she goes, well, you are. I go, no, I'm not. I just have Beth in my life. <laughs> you need a Beth is what I, I need said. a Beth. She tells I'm you like, what yeah, well, That must be it because I can't get it together. Well, what is it, Iceberg? Go ahead. You're on the air. Yeah, Mr. Stern. Yes. Listen, you got to marry that woman. Let me explain to you why. <laughs> well, one thing, not only is she beautiful, but... She could be sitting at home right now spending up your money. She's out there making her own money. That's a real good sign for a woman. She's not Hollywood. She's a good home girl. Stir, make that happen, baby. I'm well, out. I'm working on it. We have an engagement ring that we're all looking at right now. Big rock. <laughs> all right, the doctor, Very let me nice. get into it. Uh, one, nice ring. One thing I did want to say, though, but Artie does sound different and lower than everybody else on the show right now. When what do you he mean? was talking, he I sounds know. like... I Scott I can hardly hear him. And I have his mic all the way up. Yeah. Scott came in and adjusted it. I got it right where Scott said to put it. I don't know. I don't all know right. what it is. All right, listen. We'll get to the bottom. First of feeling all, low. can I is say he something? feeling lower? Dr. Avalo, yeah. can I say something? Anything. Howard and I just got engaged. This right. is the most blissful, beautiful, carefree, worry-free, argue-free time of our relationship. I don't know why we are opening a can of worms right now. This has been <laughs> a can so of worms. wonderful. The, the best part of I'm my I'm not here time. to rain on the parade. This is open. We've been together over seven years, well, and we've really had a wonderful, wonderful ride. Well, can I say something yeah. to that? I think, why not put it out there in front of Dr. Abelow? <laughs> now we're I, fighting. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm saying <laughs> no, no, we no. should find out before we embark on our life as a married couple. Yeah. <laughs> if maybe there is some issue. Now, people have said to me it is not normal for a couple not to fight. It, 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 it just defies logic. But I am telling you. Yeah. Beth and I really have never had a fight. I get annoyed with him, but... What do you get annoyed about? When he Not walks... Not to focus on the This is so silly, yeah. but this happens daily. This is something that really irks me. We got new white carpet in my side of the apartment where my office is and where Bianca sleeps, and he always walks on my carpet with his dirty boots, and he's bringing in disgusting okay. New York slime from the streets. And I, he knows that I hate that, but what he does is... Can I walk on the carpet? And he walks right in. And he knows that I hate that. So I just take a deep breath. We 
do whatever we have to do, and then he leaves, and then I can release it. I release it right then, you but just it let really, it go. I let it go, but it really annoys me every time he does it. All right, I, yeah. I don't want to get married. Well, <laughs> <laughs> but that's it. I swear that's it. That's no. really the only thing the only on a daily walking... basis okay, that le- irks me. So no, let's there use are other it. things that irk you about me. You got very irked the other day when I didn't uh, listen to you properly during my chess lesson. Okay. Okay. And listen, here's the thing. Yeah. I I am a trained listener, and it may be that because you're so gifted, here's the thing, you're you're extraordinarily gifted as a communicator. I agree with you there. Yeah. I don't think this that's is my diagnosis. Go ahead. All of a sudden, he okay. loves you, Doctor. But listen to the listen to the dynamic that's unfolding. She she does this thing already. Okay, seven years in, which is a significant period of time to not yes. have an argument. Yes. Where you walk on her white carpet. But it but, is his apartment, and he did pay for the carpet. Listen to her, but she's making excuses for you. Right. 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 She's justifying you dirtying the white carpet. Yes. I haven't heard you say I'm sorry, Beth. I'm not sorry. I'll tell you why. No, I, she is right. Interesting, though, she right? She is right. Here's the problem. Okay. These boots that I wear, and I swear this is based in logic. It's not an, an hostile, aggressive act. It's okay. not me trying to claim my apartment for myself. Literally what has happened is... It's not. Okay. The, the carpet never should have been white to, to begin with. That's number one. Number two. Do you like the white carpet? I love the white carpet. Okay. Right. But okay, I went along with it. The oh, fact of the matter yeah. is that my boots are so goddamn hard to lace up. In order to take them off and take them on, it takes me 20 friggin' minutes. Yeah. I want to come in and say hello to her. I want to be with her. I like to walk over to that side of the apartment. I'm wearing these boots. I'm about to leave okay. in five minutes. I don't have time to sit and lace up boots every five minutes, every time I want to come in and see Beth. All right, but here's the thing. In the context of saying how much you love her, which she values so extraordinarily yes and how much you want to go see her you are dirtying the carpet i am which she has said listen it does i wish she had said it more forcefully because and, and this is what some of the 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 sort of direction you think can she's be. afraid of me that's what you said in i your think email. she should say listen don't don't come in on the white carpet and she does sometimes I say it that and i don't sternly. come in you do i do sternly sternly yes. and i don't yeah. do it yeah i say okay and but, and I'm he, hurt. but he says he she mad. says you keep doing it well, I do. I, I come back right. and I try again. <laughs> Every day. I mean, uh, look. Here's well, listen. The here's the you, ever, you ever see these old ladies? You used to go to their homes when I was a kid, and they'd cover everything in plastic. Yes. Remember that? My, my, my grandparents grandmother. did that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I don't want to cover. I don't want my life in but plastic. But I've, I've made a, I've a solution on my own, Dr. Keith. Yeah. I've ordered new carpet that's not white. Well, but no, that's not a solution. <laughs> on because his credit card. <laughs> I was just about <laughs> Thank to. Thank you. That's so, but that, again, listen, I'm not, I'm not going to script how this relationship evolves, but you may need me down the road, right? Because every marriage courses through good times and bad times. This is, as you've said, the, the extended honeymoon period. But in describing the white carpet, you said it never should have been there. You've never given up. On you're the fact saying that she I'm a bully. The wrong co- Are you I'm, saying I'm a bully? I'm not saying you're a bully at all, by the way. I'm Am s- I a bully? No, I don't think you're a bully. Do you think my I personality think you... is overpowering? Well, ah, that's different. Him. That's different. That's different. <laughs> I think Dr. Person... Keith is afraid She's of me. So... <laughs> L- listen to what... <laughs> I'm going to lie down on the couch. I have said... I need help. I have Howard's said... Howard's bullying me, and I was chased in grade school. Dr. So Keith, yeah. I have said to Beth yeah. that I would appreciate if okay. she was in therapy because I want her to have her voice. I want my partner... To feel as strong as I do in the relationship, total 50-50, as much as that scares me. Yes. It'd be much better to have a woman who is a, a subservient, who's afraid of me, who will always put me up on a pedestal, but that's not a real relationship. A real relationship is when you can be equals and not be afraid to have your voice. You don't feel that we're equals. This is new to me. I do. Uh, I do. I do I feel, feel you're my I've equal. I've always thought we, we felt But we I don't know less. if you feel like we are. Absolutely, I do. You do? Yeah. Well, then there's no problem. Well, well, <laughs> you're ready therapy. to say there's no problem. And I'm not a problem maker. I'm only a problem solver. Right. And, and everybody, by the way, has problems. That's why I felt so energized when I heard from Gary, listen, they don't argue. And I and heard it on the show. Because the bottom line is, that is a symptom of something going on in the relationship. There's always something that but can get people engaged. But what do you think's going on? Let's, let's find out, because I think this well, is think a boring just... segment. I think <laughs> you've got two people here who love each other, who are not really at odds, uh-huh. 
And, uh, well, you know, okay, a car. I'm really easygoing. No, I really... She's so easygoing. She cares for animals and, and right. particularly the ones who are injured. And all of us have injuries, yourself and myself included. I get that. But if you just look at what's transpired in just a few minutes, here we have you saying she picks the wrong thing sometimes. And then you don't quite take her seriously when she says, don't walk on the white carpet. And then you said, you did say it, even though she's willing to say, no, you didn't. You both agreed. We didn't say it. But you did say it that you think she needs therapy in order to be your equal. And she picked up on it, but she retreated so fast. She said, no, okay, okay, then it's fine. Right. Right, why didn't you say, but Howard, you did say that. Because you just both of said us it. can't tolerate bad feelings in the relationship. Ah, uh, okay, They're, is that true? Are they afraid yes. to step up? Why, where does it come from, from Some your dad or from? Yes, I don't want any anger. I don't want any, you know, I'm very afraid of anger. That which you run from appears in front of you, right? Can I write that down? Yeah. <laughs> That's a poster. <laughs> Robin, now, what do you think of this therapy? I don't believe well, that I look, need this. Howard, this is, uh, yeah. I w I'm sitting here biting my tongue. Why? Don't bite. Now's your chance. Ooh, did you fight in your first marriage? No. All right. We see where that ended. Well, uh, it's true. <laughs> my, feelings, my feelings Honey, are, are getting nervous. A, my feelings are going to blue carpet. Wait, that's <laughs> feeling bad. You, you, you didn't fight in your first marriage no. at all. I never fought with Allison. Now, how does she not know? Uh, and again, I am not she a knows troublemaker. Oh, I do know that, but... But you know what? The other thing I've noticed is you're so gifted that, that you could... Who could fight with me? You could even extinguish... Uh, exactly! Uh, exactly! Exactly! That's the point. You That's refined point. an armamentarium of verbal abilities that allow you to extinguish anyone's objections. So you lead with, hey, I don't think this... This is a boring segment. I don't need this therapy. That's right. But that doesn't deter me because the doctor is in. <laughs> Look at you, sell that on a t-shirt. What bothers you about me? I don't like it when you got that uh, massage from that man, <laughs> and you didn't tell me about it. That was two years ago. Well, I, I slammed the door. That. I shut I am the door so on her. Perfect for him. I knew nothing wrong. Remember Michael oh, Corleone well, in the uh, Godfather when he shuts the door? I that's shut very the door. interesting. Did you hear what she? You heard it. What she did she said, say? I am so perfect for him. I do nothing wrong. Right, you can do something wrong. <laughs> yeah, but you saying that doesn't make it so because it's bundled with you being Howard Stern. That's why she needs therapy because uh, she can do it, something wrong. She doesn't have to feel like she can't do anything wrong. Right. I'm willing now, where to does that come from? That. Also, that comes from somewhere. Where did you get the idea that to be perfect means? I just mean for him. I don't cause him any stress. Oh boy, he's asking a good question. Uh, but I don't have an answer. If I don't. I just know that I'm perfect for you. But why do you have to be perfect? That's a good question. He's like my. I don't feel that the pressure that I have pressure to be perfect for him. Not that I'm perfect. I don't feel the pressure that I have to be perfect for him. I just in in experiencing our lives together, right. I feel I am perfect for him. Well, what do you think would happen if you weren't perfect? What for what is not ah. perfect? What do you think? Let, let's say you're not perfect for me. Let's say what would you, be an example of you me get, not being. You say, okay. listen, I like massages from men. Right. And I'm gonna get them. Oh, I don't like them from men. Actually, I was creeped out that day. Right. So that's a, that's a bad example. Oh, I, I like to go to bed early with you. Right. Some once or twice a month month I get invited to go somewhere great, whether it's a fashion um, event, and I go and I and I sense that he does not like that, and I ninety nine point nine percent of the time I'm home in bed with him. I feel I would be less perfect if I was a normal thirty four year old woman going out like my friends do more often, and I choose not to, I know but I'm okay with that, but those rare times that I do go out. I would like to go out, out with my friends, too. That's what he, that's, that's yeah. what, when I, okay, <laughs> have to get this is good. Arnie, uh, anywhere you want to go with me? But, that's, listen, what listen, that's, that's, that's what he does. I think that's what he does. That's what he, What I'm getting right, out of it is, right. I think Beth is, he does. Beth is very aware that she's perfect for you, and I think she doesn't realize it, maybe, but she puts pressure on herself to continue to be Honey, perfect. But this is you want to go out at yes, night. Yes, she does. It, she does? Yes. Have I ever once said, don't go out? That's not... That's that you've never not you've never said it's that. It's hard for me. I miss but you. But yet you hold a grudge from the side. Oh, you're leaving me. Yes, I miss you. And then you. he says, I'm gonna have to make a plan with my friends. Well, I have to and, threaten you. Yes. Um, I'm I gonna go you. out with. I'm that's gonna healthy. go out. I'm going out with Ross and Artie. And we're going to the strip club. That's I'm right. going to scores. But I'm <laughs> well, laughing. We're go? laughing the whole time, though. Well, it's why not, are we not being serious? Are you well, upset when I go to exactly. the Nicole Miller fashion show this afternoon? She feels in some amount of peril. I am first of if all. If she's serious with you about disagreements. No. See, Some I agree power. with that. She I, keeps checking she with you, is by the right. way. When she she's is, she, she yeah. is right. Yeah. I do have uh, issues about people leaving me. I want to control everyone in my atmosphere. I, want, I am a puppet master. 
and I want everyone to be a puppet. Now, ah. if I'm going to be in a real relationship with Beth, I, I can't be the puppet master. It's going to be a burden and all of that. And she'll so be angry I, later. She, that's right, and no she'll hate me for it. Puppet. That's right. She I don't feel that I am. You're not. I that's don't think you are. Because I believe that I have to struggle with my inability to be alone at night and that I can't go out. I want to be with you, and I also want to be at work. And it's very difficult for me not to have everything. I want to have it all, and I can't. And I have to struggle with that. It's not about Beth. It's about me. It, well, it, yes, and she's already said, listen, I, I, I did one thing to which he objected. I got this massage from a man. He's been talking about it for two years. So guess what happens if she starts going out? And she has to worry. What if he subtly doesn't say it, but he really doesn't like it? It could be years right. of a campaign about what I did. Now, also, notice Well, she this. is right. I dated other girls, and uh, a lot of them went out every night, and I did break it off. I couldn't deal with it. Why not? Because I don't like to be left alone. Why? Because I'm jealous. That's I not want... why you broke yep. up with them. No, that's not why. I don't want... I want to be with someone at night. <laughs> you want someone there. Right. <laughs> but do you want someone fully there would be the question. I don't have an answer. Right. Or do you want someone who reminds you you're there? I want somebody to remind me that I'm there. Well, that's that's See, a that's little a more sickness. concerning. I'm a very sick man. You can get a mirror. I'm a, a, a mirror. <laughs> delightful, <laughs> delightful nonetheless. I have a lot of issues, so I'm working on my issues in therapy, and I okay. know that about yes. myself, and I do say to Beth, she sure, it's going to be hard for me when you go out, but by all means, you're a person, you have your <laughs> needs, and you need to go out. You, and she's not asking me for permission. I know, yeah, I don't ask him but, for permission, but I, I feel the grudge. When I, is. That night that I'm leading up to leaving, and then the next day, serious. you yeah. left I, me with my dinner all by myself. I warmed I up my away. meatballs. I'm like, well, I prepared the meatballs. You, you inspire I emotionally, guilt. I emotionally pull away from people he who does. leave me. Yeah. That's right, I do. And then I think about that, too, when I'm out, so I can't fully enjoy the experience. Good. I mean, that's <laughs> oh, terrible. Wonderful. Oh, that sounds great. <laughs> right. But does that make I, you... I, uh, I'm a very passionate man. <laughs> so he's winning. I only want to stay home because I'm the happiest when I'm do you know also It's what clearly she... a reign of terror. Oh, it's a... my God. Well, it's a... It's a... Uh, you know, you might be onto something. Maybe I'm the might wrong be. guy. I'm not, I'm not a good... Are you doing no, this no, for the show? No, but you, you know really what... serious saying that I'm the wrong guy? No, I mean, I always felt... No, that... You know what he's saying? Maybe I'm bad. He's threatening you with abandonment. Yeah. He's saying... If you equalize yes, this relationship, that's what I'm doing. That's I right. may well pull out. Wow. See, that's, that's right. the right. problem yeah. right there. I know how to it's get the like people. As lo and you're very good. That's subtle. Yeah. And thank you, Dr. Yeah, because it looks for like... it out. It sounds fun, but what he's really doing is controlling everything and determining exactly how it's going to be. Are you be. saying how it's being passive-aggressive? I'll make it even, <laughs> even more, more incredible. What? I'm a hugely difficult person to live with. Oh, who's ever told you that? The fact that Beth can do this. Who has ever told you that? I mean, she's mentally ill. I told you, I do not envy Beth. I'm not mentally ill at all. That's right, and I like her mental illness. But You say you're not difficult? I'm the one who told you. I am so difficult. You are incredibly, incredibly difficult. Incredibly. Incredibly. So much that we have to add syllables to the word. Right. Now, yes. I got a question about something. Wait, Dr. Keith's good. He's getting me all around. I'm not boring at all. This really? is something oh, I always bored. He fell asleep ten minutes. Ago. Uh, I'm not bored. This is something I've always wanted to ask you about because I've heard you address this on the air a bunch of times. I love Beth. I know, and, and that I know. <laughs> but you've addressed this jokingly, and then and then it sort of went away. You started to talk about how you you get. I've seen you over the years. You get obsessed with things. You get onto something, and it becomes your passion. And you started to joke around about three or four months ago that chess was getting in the way. That you That's were right. playing too much chess, and then all of a sudden you stopped talking about it. But I still see that you're playing as much chess as ever. I'm obsessed with chess. So, like, is that weird for you that he's got a hobby that takes up hours that doesn't involve you? At I first guess... it did, I have to say. I used to be Howard's number one hobby. He's still my number one hobby. Mm. Um, now chess is his number one hobby. But no. I... Yes, it is. No. You are my number one. Oh, but, no, but listen, hey, let me make a, a therapeutic intervention yeah, you, you here. You stopped her before she answered. Yeah, you said no. <laughs> Almost like she's six. No, I mean, you were like, no, that's Wait not right. Wait a second. Right. You didn't say tell me more. She can't I didn't tell me what my number one obsession is. But she can uh, tell you what, what she I feels. Feel yes. All right. Your... All right, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, she please. feels like she's been replaced by, you know, kings and rooks. <laughs> okay? I mean. It's so wrong. I mean, you got to get her a diamond <laughs> pin of a rook today Oh, or no, thank you. No, thank you. Okay. But, but I've... Over the months, it's been a year now. The year anniversary is coming up with Howard and his chess teacher. I was hearing yes. about that <laughs> celebration. We even have an anniversary. We do. What? <laughs> how, That's the gayest thing I've ever How nerdy is that? It's a year that I've been studying chess seriously. Howard, well, this ain't working because you're gay. Your teacher. <laughs> yeah.
<laughs> but you know, the other thing she does. You no- want to be engaged to a 900 level chess player or, a, <laughs> or, or somebody in the high 1600s? I don't even know what 900 is or 15. I don't know what the You don't want to be with is. a loser. You want to be with a winner. <laughs> but I decided to embrace his chess and really yes. celebrate it. And that was the day that I arranged, had arranged for his chess instructor to come in for the weekend. Yes. I took the chess instructor and his wife out to dinner. And I, for his gift, I paid for a whole day, one-on-one, face-to-face session with the instructor. Had a lunch, a chef come in and cook us all lunch. It's the most loving thing someone has ever done. I've never been more Is bored. it loving or selfless? <laughs> You've never what? No, 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 no. You've no, never no. been more what? Well, I was bored because you were playing chess all day and it was your birth or was it what was it your birthday it was my birthday and i was away from you all day i i was out Missed shopping and 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 i was so warmed by my gesture and i knew that you were so happy but i was away from you so that was a gift that i tried to embrace but it didn't include me really except for the the meals and we're talking about Yes. What can I do to improve? No, I'm I... not trying oh, to. I'm it's not okay. so. You so tell okay. Him. So this was a few months ago. So now Howard has his chess. I really. I. I. I make plans when he has. He has been wonderful. I think he sensed my my feelings on it. So. He's really cute, Dr. Keith. What he does is he tells me and asks me if it's okay that he has a chess lesson from this time to this time. Is that okay with my schedule? And he's been really good about that. And I really plan things for myself during those times. Right. So it has gotten so much better, except for the fact when you are in the middle of playing and you ask me a question, and I'm doing my own thing, and I answer the question, and he asks the same question five minutes later, and then ten times later he's asking the same questions. He's not Didn't listening. Didn't that happen only once, though? But I was really, that really blew a fuse. I think it's been happening a lot, but I think this, it kind of was the icing on the cake for me. It's only our first session. I know. (laughs) And we've discovered how many, uh... She feels she's not listened to. ...little uh, things that are going on. You know what really helps? they've never had any difficulties. You know what really helps in this session? Or disagreements. You you, you coming in. (laughs) (laughs) Ah, yeah, thank you. It helps helps when you, when you, uh... And how it lied to me last night. Should I get into the lie last night? What was the lie? You can tell me anything, by the way, Beth. No, what I'm saying is... I was making a joke. I know, but I I just didn't get it. Should we talk about your lie last night? Howard, isn't it great when another woman chimes in in this kind of a session? I said, boy, yeah. You Whatever. shut up, too, you asshole. Listen. <laughs> now, we do have disagreements here. But <laughs> Can you get it to me and Robin Dr. after Keith, this? Yes. Dr. Keith, yeah. in all seriousness, I am a little obsessed with the chess right now. Okay. And I do want to make the following statement. <laughs> yeah, I am having with your chess teacher. I am having trouble. Oh anniversary party coming up. <laughs> I am having trouble. I have a tendency okay. to withdraw yeah. and get into things. And it's my way of hiding. It's my way of uh, sometimes uh, backing off. Right. I do love this chess, and I've realized that I love Beth more than chess. And I really don't want to blow my relationship with her like I've blown other things in my life. So what I've done, or at least I've attempted to do as a result, is to check in more about this and say, hey, am I being a little too obsessive? If you're going to the gym, maybe I can play some chess now. See? I think that's good. Yeah. And I'm making sure that, like, like last night, we got into bed and watched TV and we screwed and, uh, screwed. What do you want I to didn't say? Screw. You don't like when we say make love, so I didn't say screwed. that. Screwed. That's the grossest <laughs> term of what fucked. happened last night. I didn't want to say fucked. We were together. That's intimately. good. See how she I handles was me? Together. She, we were yeah. together in an intimate way. Uh huh. You and, crowned uh, her yeah. king. Right. <laughs> yeah. In other words, I'm trying to find Shut balance. Shut up, Artie. Stop You're trying to find in. balance. Honestly, I'm really okay at this point with your chest. Don't do you feel that too? Didn't I do. you sense it? Were sense my um, negativity before, and now it's yes. lifted, right? Yes. Yeah, I feel like we've gone through that. Well, I think that's good. That's a good example of a way to accommodate her needs. But another thing I'd like to point out is that when you talk about things that concern you about him to me, you look at him. You constantly, she's constantly taking your pulse. I like it's that. anxiety provoking at a deep unconscious level. Yes. She's, con- she's constantly sampling yes. your tone of voice, That's true. your facial expressions right. to see that. whether she's falling out of favor. Right. And, it's a fo- and, and if it's okay to be talking about something. Right. Yeah. Now, what's that about? Because they're personal things that I didn't want to talk about on the air, I Is guess. Is there one of them that you wanted to broach? Or? What? I mean, let her step out, maybe. I didn't want to get into. I'm not going to. Get into what? 
<laughs> what don't you want to get? Well, you did say something about him lying. To oh no, no, no! I was joking. Last night, um, I asked. Him, I was really thirsty, so he said, "Honey, let me get you a bottle of water." And the second he stepped out of the room, he farted so loud, uh, and he came back in, and I go, "That was disgusting. Did you just fart?" And he goes, "No." Well, that's, yeah, yeah, that's the appropriate response. Keep, when that trying to keep the romance. That's a I didn't white know lie. I didn't know she could hear. Robin, it was. It was like. Yeah, I gotta tell you how it was. It was like this. <laughs> we had a salad. Oh, I'm sorry, Dr. Keith. That's all right. You're you not know, gastrointestinal. I am, a do- I am a medically trained doctor. I can maybe help you with whatever's going on GI-wise, too. What is it Ralph wants yeah. to chime in on my session? Uh, again, here he is. Uh, to, com- to, 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 to Another woman Ralph. Ch- heard from Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Hey, now. Yeah, hey, hey now. Uh, I have a serious question for you, Beth. That, that I wonder about, and I know I know you observe this. How, how do you put up with Howard's constant complaining? You you laugh it off. You know what I do? I laugh it off. Just when he's complaining in front of us, Ralph, and you and I are together, we look at each other, and I roll my eyes, and I kind of smile. That's how I deal with it on but, my own. I turn around, you... I smile to myself, and I, you know. Do I constantly complain? Yes. <laughs> I do. Constantly. About do but you, you like it. Yourself at all? No, but you I like when you. I critique. I love you. You like when I critique things. That's what I'm doing. What do I complain about? What did I complain <laughs> Ralph, about? Ralph, help me. No, really, what do I complain about? You're everything. about everything. <laughs> well, I have to handle things. There was one day Ralph was over all day, and we were so aware that you were complaining. There was not one positive thing that came out of your mouth. And we looked at each other, and then we realized while we were looking at each other, there was not one happy, positive thing in the whole day. The, Ralph I'm was there for like 10 hours. I'm a very angry man. Internally. I'm very angry, yes. I'm a tremendous it's, It makes anger. me you know, so sad but, but that you are. But such a happy, like, person. I mean, I guess there's a balance there, but but at some point, don't you think that's going to wear thin with you, Beth? Well, Beth has an illness that she's so happy. <laughs> are you testing her? <laughs> <laughs> she I feel bad for her. But she doesn't see it the way it is. I have tremendous anger. Oh, yeah, it's, it's, it, Which it, derives from your childhood experiences. I don't know where it's deriving from. Well, yes. I mean, yeah, but I'm very, I, I'm very angry. You're very angry. And, okay. And she feels for broken, she injured feels, She feels safe beings, for me, yes. Right? And so everything she delivers to you, by the way, is in a very loving way. Yes. She's oh, the most I adore woman. him. She's the most loving woman I've ever met. I love him. She I love loves her. you so I much. Do. I love Wouldn't her. this be the ideal time, as you've, you've spoken to, to essentially come to equilibrium with someone? To Good. say, you know what? Why do I need all these defenses, these so many things in my quiver of arrows? Let me dispense to the extent that I can with some of them and let her... Let her come even closer. How do we do that? Well, we, we give her permission psychologically. Yes. Uh, I could do that with her. Please. Right? And you'll find as you restrain yourself from, to some extent, using these gifts you have. I am a that, strong enough man. I'm yes. telling you this right now, Dr. Abelow, to agree to that. Well, and that's, that's, that's a... Even with uh, all the consequences that come with it. Because having an equal partner to me is the most important thing. But isn't that disaster if you restrain what yourself? What consequences? Not... The consequences could like be. Uh, well, that's so I will have to psychologically deal with my yes. inability to yes. pull all the strings. And but you know that's what? why at, you at, do it. At its that's core, right. this is a question about whether you are, in fact, truly lovable that you that's have right. internally. You are asking me yes. if Superman can give up his powers. Oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> will I be willing For to her? take kryptonite? Yeah, for my You're Lois. You're Lois. And the answer is yes. My love knows no boundaries. You know why this is interesting to me, I mean, Howard? my love for myself. <laughs> yes. Remember when you read the book Marley and Me? Uh, yes, I did. And you were very touched by the book? I got him the book, by the way. Oh, uh, that was sweet. Yes. <laughs> oh, you don't even remember. Have you fogged over and you don't no, remember? No, I remember. How... What was it that touched you about the book? I forget. I knew it. I am not comfortable with emotion. <laughs> I'm not comfortable You're not with comfortable feelings. with feelings. No. I really? Cried. Truly? Howard was on the plane coming home from a vacation reading that book. I had something in my eye. Bawling. Oh. Bawling, bawling, sure. bawling. I was He let bawling. himself feel. Yes, yes. you were. <laughs> right. And did, no. you tell, did he tell you what had moved him to such an extent? <laughs> the love. The, yeah, we t- well, you know what? I hadn't, I hadn't read the book yet. Well, what yeah, but he did remember. come back, and he shared it with everybody. But I forget. You see, I block it all I out. I know. I said, you don't even have it anymore. You, no. you were you so You cried amazing. because the very last page of the book, Marley dies. 
Right. And that, that was, wasn't exactly now you ruined what, the what, <laughs> what, what made me cry. Out of the book. He said he learned more from that book. <clears throat> he did say and that. And he learned the most important lesson of his life from reading that book. What was the lesson? And the lesson <laughs> was <laughs> the lesson was that perfect relationships don't bring clo- people closer together. It's when you can yes. accept the imperfections and get through problems together yes. that the relationship grows. And you know what? Here's that. the thing. Thank well, you, you for reminding me. And I'll forget Robin. it by tomorrow. <laughs> yes, you got to love the hard times. Marley you know was the world's worst dog. Yeah. Right. right. Yeah, and you got you know what? Here's the thing. You got to put down a little more white carpet in that in that mansion of yours. Because uh, it's no mansion. It's I know, apartment. but it, the apartment. Yes. But you got to put down a little bit more white carpet because your inclination is to say, you know what? I never liked it. It's an intrusion. But guess what? You love her. I'm willing to do it for I'm going to take my shoes off. Well, we're getting new carpet where you can wear your shoes on. That's the But I don't know if it's wise. I mean, is it is it already it's already it's a mess there. already. I, what I color is it? Yeah, the c- carpet is so though. ruined from Howard's boots oh, that I need no. a new carpet anyhow. I think symbolically, dr- uh, Beth should dress in a white carpet because Howard's walking all over. Oh. Oh. Do you sense that already? Am That's I walking terrible. all over? No, I'm paid to be funny here. It was a oh. joke. No, I, I think there's. I agree with Ralph. I think there's better examples of where Beth might recoil a little bit because she's scared. Really. Yes. And I think one came up on the air recently, and it was, and to me, you did something where if I was in a relationship with anybody and they did this, it would make me so angry. Okay, go ahead. Um, and you tend to do this a lot because you say, you, you, tell some, you tell somebody something they should be thinking, and they think they're wrong for even thinking their own thing, and, and, and they, make, they back off from their opinion. People are wrong for thinking Beth their own mentioned, thing, yes. Beth mentioned that her family wanted to throw a, 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 an engagement party in Pittsburgh. That's right. Her father wanted to do something. And you yes. were like, come on, your father doesn't want to do that. And he she's doesn't. Like, she's like, what are you talking about? My family feels they want to do something. And you, tell, fa- you tell your father's a man's man. I'll talk to him. He doesn't. Clearly, you don't want to go to Pittsburgh for an engagement party. And you're telling her what her family is saying. Like, you know, and then. Honey. But we discussed that afterwards. And guess who's coming to Pittsburgh in me. October for an engagement party? That's a good thing. Me. Who, me? <laughs> you're welcome to come. You no, you're him? lucky. But, <laughs> but <laughs> Artie, Artie, you are right because that is a Discussion we had to have later, and we worked through it. And he's def- he said, "Does your father really want that?" And I said, "I really believe that he does." And so, in, in turn, Howard accepted. Yeah, and here you are. You know, uh, it's interesting. You sort of uh, as the ambassador be- between two men who want things and trying to make it okay for both of them. The question is: Are you worried at all that you'll hear about it? If it's not perfect, well, if, if it's stress- I, I, I already have the pressure of where are we going to stay in Pittsburgh? Pittsburgh is. A town where Howard is huge, meaning it's going to be very town. difficult to go when to my favorite put... restaurant in Pittsburgh. I'm, I'm very I'm nervous about it already. But I think if we're going to we're going to keep it confined to the house, and then you and I will go to the Whenever hotel. Whenever we've done anything with your family, haven't I always been the one that's like really gung ho and into it? And you've been amazing. That's not the that's right. not the problem but here. You you've never been. I'm, you're worried out to my family. We've all com- they've all come to us. Really, right. this is the first trip to Howard. In ever. seven years. In seven years. Well, that I wasn't have, invited. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Uh, it's true. It's, he wasn't true. invited. It's right. not that he wasn't invited. Just well, it, never... it is not that he wasn't invited. No, it's we, she didn't he, want we're me welcome to, to come any. any I time said, to him I said I'd like to go see where you grew up, and she said to me, I don't want to. Really. It, Why? it makes me nervous, Howard, going to Pittsburgh. Why? Just that he's going Why? to be uncomfortable there. Uh, uh, uncomfortable with what? With the... Our the, family. The, accommoda- no! the accommodations. The family? Yes, the, yes, the accommodations, so the hotel. How much pressure the car, is that? That's the, a lot security. of pressure. The, the yes. greatest hotel in Pittsburgh is in the city. We live in a suburb 35 so minutes outside the city, so it's going to be Howard traveling back and forth. I grew from- up in a shithole. I can be anywhere. Uh, <laughs> but honey, you never, you never said I, I need to go to hell. Pittsburgh and be with your family. Well, now's the time it's going to happen, and no, I'm already nervous. She's about already it. nervous. You yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm nervous because I want it to be perfect for no. us. For him. <laughs> I stopped. stopped. Perfect. Oh, yeah, for you're gonna say for you, right? <laughs> no, she didn't care about You'll her. You'll be fine with it. She's very you know worried. No, she watched you him, every right? second yeah. that she delivered that right. statement. She you did, watched honey. you every <laughs> nanosecond. So I love it. <laughs> and now she's reassuring you, by the way. <laughs> yes. She's like, uh oh, I better tell him how beautifully, how much what I love him. What do you think's going on here, Doctor Abelo? I th- look at. I think seven years in, right. you have somebody who loves you to the ends of the earth, right? Yes. I would do she anything for him. Even give up elements of self for you. She yes. would. I know. You can't accept that gift. It's not a gift. I, I'm not entitled her. to it. Uh, well, and you don't, and it's not. And I don't what, want, it's too much of a burden. You're entitled to true, genuine love. You're burden. entitled to someone. <laughs> That's right. I want yeah. genuine love. Genuine love. Yeah, that doesn't mean that my love isn't genuine. No, I think. Listen, I think you're capable of extraordinary, extraordinary love. 
the resistor in the circuit is that what we don't want is for any ill will to be engendered over years as you say god you know what i've you really been me. worried about him all the time what he thinks whether he's walking on the white carpet i got to worry about the hotel uh, and it's in too the back of i want him to be comfortable at all it's times not too, but that's too much of a burden for you yeah to to have to have that constant anxiety which comes from where i asked you but we didn't really get into it but we could at some time in the future or now but it has to have come from somewhere your capacity to be fear I always take care of people around me. My mother always said, you're a people pleaser. You always, you know, want to say the right Why thing. Why should you your mother say- define who you are? What's wrong with her taking <laughs> Maybe care of her? Maybe that's why I want to <laughs> keep but, up with but that. You're saying, but you're saying, it's not, what Dr. Ablo is saying, it's not real love that you feel for me. It's more fear. Oh, my God. No, 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 no. So no, not true. No, not true. I did not hear please that. Please let not the true. doctor talk, yeah, please. <laughs> no, no, no. I didn't hear that at all. No, and again. Let's go to Mark. Mark, go ahead. No, no all of us are scared shit of you. Mark, go ahead. You're scared shit of me. Everyone's scared shit of me. I can't take it. Mark, go ahead. You're on the air in New Jersey. I'm not scared of him. I can't wait to Howard TV so I can see the smile on Artie's face as he's watching this all take place. Oh, that's no, <laughs> dude. Come on. Well, I don't know. This, this Abelo character, he, uh, he, character. he knows how to get to people. Uh, uh, hey, no are person. you worried about us right now? Absolutely not. Yeah. I would marry you tomorrow. They're fine. This can is you, healthy. Can you perform a marriage ceremony right I, now? Uh, I'm, five minutes, I'm five minutes away from doing my Grandma Caprio impression, just to bring things down. <laughs> what, go ahead, I yes, think Mark. this is healthy for you guys. I do. Absolutely. What, yeah, it is, it is sure healthy. it is. What have we learned, though? What have we learned? We learned that she'd be safer with Jeffrey Dahmer. That's what we learned. <laughs> I'm not sure what we learned, Dr. Abelow. Uh I think what you learned, uh, and I, I tend to look at her more. Because, I do, too. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, I think, I think um, what you've learned is that you have the foundation for a brilliant relationship. Good. An example for other people. Some of that example has to be your disarming, okay? Okay. To let her continue to grow into everything she can be and part of that is going to be to be challenging with you as well as being the barometer to know if you're comfortable she says i have this anxiety it'd be good if she didn't have the anxiety but if i'm this one who is causing the anxiety yeah how can i help ease her anxiety how can you yes yeah what can i I do i think she need to go work on that to well, get rid of the anxiety. Can I just say that I have dated... I am going to be 35 years old. Okay. I've never been engaged. I've never been married. That could be a problem. Though. I have dated... I You're going to be 35. Shh, with a 35. <laughs> Don't bring that up. I have dated so <laughs> many old. different types yes. of men. I've lived with men. I've dated very wealthy men. I've dated um, celebrities. Yeah. I've dated the whole... Not, yeah. <laughs> I'm not a slut. I'm not a whore. But I really well, dated a lot of sounds men. Sounds a little like slut whore. Oh. Go ahead. Yes. Go ahead. I have found my peace yes. with this man. Like uh. I really have. I am so happy and fulfilled and just full and warm with this man in front of me. Beautiful. Beautifully said. I love the sentiment. It doesn't erase, as you two are prone to do. Yes. It doesn't erase the subsoil. Right. That we've uncovered. Right. right. In other words, it doesn't erase the anxiety that she might experience in the relationship. It's not all perfect. No, and sometimes, by the way, be. people feel at home and as if they've finally arrived in the place they can put their head down on a pillow when they're kind of closer to things that may have troubled them in their background. They're like, oh, okay, this is very familiar I to me. I know this, yeah. I know this. I, I've always, I as my mother that. said, yeah. I've always been a people pleaser. This is the guy who needs the most pleasing. Right. Who this wants is that my burden? Thing. Yeah. Right. I don't want to be that guy. To so you. you're saying that if that's the case, that in the future, that's going. To, I'm going to end up resenting that. Yes. That's the potential problem. Well, two possibilities. You could end up resenting it, or he could end up turning around one day and saying, "I'm still alone. I still feel alone. I'm not with somebody who can really meet me on equal ground." And it will have been a situation of his own making. But I'm not I'll with still a real have, person. Then I'll still have empathy for him. That's right. Right, because he's a tough cookie. Right? Very lovable, as you've discovered. Right? But I he am needs... so lovable. <laughs> and really, any woman would be lucky to be with me. <laughs> That's what I keep telling that. <laughs> well, let me tell you something. Uh, this is uh, very, very upsetting. Uh, I'm, 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 not... I'm not upset at all. I'm actually really encouraged and excited about this. Oh, you are? Yeah. So you learned something. I think something. this was really good. I don't even know what I learned. Did... I'm so nervous. You go, this Bang... is very upsetting. I feel this is a wonderful thing. Oh, Bong hit Eric. You're on the air. Go ahead. Let's see what he has to say. <laughs> Now. He's pretty wise, this guy. Bong Hit has been talking <laughs> the, through the entire thing. What have you got to say? <laughs> oh, man. Well, Howard. Let me, he just finished the hit. Go yeah. ahead. Yes. I'm sorry about that. Beth, you sound like a dream come true angel to put up with all this insecurity, nonsense bullshit that Howard makes you feel anxiety. Howard, that's not right. 
Oh, I love him. I don't mean to do it. I, and Beth, I... if you have any dogs that need a home, please take me uh... seriously. I'm, I'll take care of them. Howard, why are you so insecure? Oh, stop it. Kyle, you're on the air. Hey, you guys may be going through your problems, but I'm fucking loving this shit. <laughs> uh, it wasn't boring at all, was it? <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> Bobo, you're on the air. Hey, how you doing there? I bet. Isn't it true that you and Howard had a fight when Bianca jumped in the pool and Howard just stood there and you said, do something? He said, I'm not, not at all. I laugh about it to this She's day. She's the man in the relationship. That he didn't jump in after the dog when she fell in, that I <laughs> had to jump in after the dog because it's I very I was taking <laughs> off my sneakers. Uh, I would have jumped. And they take a long time to get off those yes. boots. Granted, I had a, we heard that before, right? I had a dress on, full makeup, ready to go out to lunch. And you're kidding me. <laughs> I bet. Yeah. How come, how come you're not on the, uh, the, the top 100 FHM uh, Most Beautiful Girls? You should definitely be in there. Thank you. That's very nice. Thank you. Dominic, you're on the air. Howard, I know you 22 years. Right. I socialized you in your first marriage. You are my honeymoon with Leslie. Yeah. We know the resume. You're incredibly <laughs> growing. As a person, I think Beth's wonderful for you, and you could have never done this 10 or 20 years ago. One question. Yes. Do you use sex as a weapon? Sex as a weapon? Yeah, like, you know, if she doesn't do what you want or she goes out at night and you're not happy... That you that you get a little cold towards her? No, we have always had very. No, but I sex. do. I do get what Beth is referring to. Yes, when she goes out, sometimes I can get a little distant, right, for a while, and get. Oh, I thought her. you. He says well, after you go out, like, does it take me a while to get back into sex and stuff? No, because usually when I have sex before I go out. Right. <laughs> and then you want. <laughs> then I'll that's really Then I use sex been. as a weapon afterwards. That's <laughs> you're great, yeah. and, and you too. You're going to be happy and. Congratulations again. Thank I didn't you. say it properly at the party, but I, I really see happiness coming even more and more. Thank you, Dominic. I Thank appreciate you. that. Yeah. And I love you both. Look, I know I'm, I'm very difficult to be with. I know it. Believe me, I can't stand being with me. Oh, stop uh, it. That's, I'm being that's, serious. That's interesting. That's yeah. not true. There's, I got issues. I'm well, an the angry, rest of us benefit guy. from your issues. When we're, Beth and Ralph say them. that I am a guy who, you know, complains about everything, I have a tremendous anger thing. Okay, how does it manifest itself? I take it out on myself. Mm -hmm. How? I'm very uncomfortable with my anger, and what I end up doing is I end up beating myself up, whether it be OCD or mm -hmm. all kinds of other shit. I, I really tear into myself, you know? Yeah. I make myself sick in the head. I make, you know, it's crazy. But the fact of the matter is, this is the best relationship I've ever had with a human being. Man or woman... She is incredibly loving to me, and I feel incredibly loving toward her. She is everything. And I think that you're absolutely right. I've got to uh, have an equal because I never want Beth to be angry with me. In terms of our relationship, and that's not healthy. Right. It, it's good for her to be angry with me. It's good for her. Like, we have a whole issue. about. It's not really an issue. Beth doesn't want to have children right now. Uh, I don't want to have children. And we've always said, well, how can we get married? What if she changes her mind once our children? We've got to put it all out on the table. Yeah. Because Beth is my equal. Right. And uh, I don't want to be a bully in the relationship, and I don't want to be the overbearing one, and I don't want her to have to feel like she always has to please me. Well, here's what you have sourced in the world, uh, and for which I applaud you, and why I see great things coming. Okay. With my help, of course. Yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> is, is You'll this. never get there on your own. You, <laughs> oh, I know that. <laughs> Believe me. You, you have found someone so unlikely to hurt you, yes. so I trust unlikely you. to overwhelm you, yes. that you can err on the side of disarming. She will not, she is not in her soul the sort of person who will abuse the privilege. That's right. I feel if I ever can get to be the person that I want to be, if I ever break down those walls, that Beth will be the safest person to do it with. And that's the moment you find yourself at, which is a glorious moment. What a right. great moment to be at. Well, are you planning to do that, Howard? It sounds like that's still somewhere in the future. Do what? I forgot what I said. <laughs> <laughs> what did I say, Ron? Remember that Marley dies. Ever going to let down the walls? She's the person you. Yeah, I have let down the walls. Believe you me. You haven't let them all down. No, uh, you, it's not easy. <laughs> Why not? Well, I feel once I let down all the walls, I'll be fully gay. <laughs> yeah, they don't do that. I date Dr. Leave, up, leave up the one heterosexual wall. <laughs> right. Hey, but the, with the. <laughs> <laughs> one thing I wanted to bring up while the doctor's here, because yes. we never get the doctor here. The, uh, there's one example, I think, and this is all stuff that was on the air, So um, uh -oh. where <laughs> Howard didn't feel Beth had an issue with something, and she really did. Gary's party. 
And I'm wondering yeah. if that's a pattern, if that happens a lot. And Beth would know. Like, did you hear Beth that whole Gary's party that. thing? Beth was yeah. lying about it. She was that. lying about it. Yeah. So now she, you're back to you were right. She, she didn't Come bring clean. that up again. You wanted to leave the party, too. I wanted to leave the party because I knew you were miserable okay. and it wouldn't oh. be no fun well, for me to sit good. there. Well, then that's no good. Exactly. See, now, look, there's a pattern here. I, I, I don't want to... Uh, this is not dire, by the way. This is a good, hopeful moment. Right. Let's not lose that. But I thought you really she, wanted to leave Gary's party. You were thrilled I to get really out I really wanted to leave because, because I saw your you, misery. There was a point where his really eyes true? were closed. Uh, be honest right now. I swear Are you saying that because you're afraid Bianca's of Gary? And, and, I swear on Bianca's really? life. Really? You yes. would have stayed longer? Uh, Absolutely. Bianca's you didn't turn life. to me in the car and say, I'm so glad we left? I'm so glad we left because you were so miserable really? and it would have been absolutely a horrible evening for me to sit there making you stay there. All right. Well, we both want the same thing, me to be happy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but the real question the, is, has that happened before, Beth, in course. the relationship? I can't think of specifics, but I'm sure. I always want, I, I mean, I don't want to be anywhere where he's miserable because but I don't want to be anywhere where really you're miserable. horrible evening. Well, but just never measurable. You're, you also yeah. don't have the ability to let her be where she's happy if you're but miserable. That being said, we got I in the car, we went home, we had a beautiful yeah. night's sleep, and I, I I'm in the no, this um, is how where you, I want to be. With I, him. You're so story tired, is, Dr. Avalon. I was so the, tired. The last <laughs> chapter in the short stories that Beth tells is always a reclaiming of love. Yes. In other words, she says, chapter one, we had a disagreement. Uh, he wanted to leave. He was miserable. I wanted to please him. And you said, I didn't even notice that. Right. Now, what she could have said instead of, but we went home and we had a wonderful night, she could have said, that's a, a bit of a problem. I'm a little concerned. Why didn't you notice that I really wanted to stay? I did. And I, I was doing it for you. I thought she'd be I really go. didn't let him. I, there was no clue as that I wanted to stay because I, I saw the oh. misery. So I'm like, okay, it's you see time what she for just us told to go. You? Yeah. She just told you how good she is. Yes. At disguising <laughs> her real feelings in service to, to servicing me. yours. That but we me. left and it's we had a wonderful it's night, and that's genuine. Yes. No, that's I know. true. I'm but not you just know why, saying But you know why she does I really that? I'll tell you why. With him. Because with me, you never know. You're like, well, if you go against me, and I and I and I and I'm sitting there miserable all night. It's a nightmare for her. Yes, but see, complete that's the nightmare. Point, I'm a that's nightmare. That's why I said right. you haven't let down all the walls. I'm a nightmare. You, I know I, this. Believe me, okay, I know. can I think of an example? <laughs> Go ahead. This just happened You're last week. In here. His his cousin, <laughs> his cousins had a graduation party. Yeah. Beautiful graduation party at this place. It was a sit down dinner. Yes. There was a point where Howard looked at me and he goes, "I gotta go." The food was I, just about the, to be served. But, but tell Dr. Abelo, <laughs> I have a job the next day. The party was, we, it was already 8.30. No, I go it to bed wasn't, at 8 honey. It, it was, was 8. 7 o'clock. I said, we'll be home by 8. The party we started weren't. at 6. 6 to 7 was cocktail hour. We sat down at 7. <laughs> Dinner was supposed to be <laughs> served at 7. Okay, it was 7.15. I it was a little bit I told you to stay. Late. I said, why don't you stay? I got to go. I got to go to bed. I got, I got an audience that pays <laughs> for my radio show. I have an obligation. But. That yeah. was an example, Artie. Now we see his true love, the we audience. Had the first course. <laughs> That's right. You're goddamn right. I love this. And then I, I said, let's just stay. The entrees are coming out. And what's my favorite part of the, the night is dessert. But we left right before the dessert because we, I, you oh. were so miserable. But then what I came home and ate chocolate, so Do it was okay. But well, here's, I'll give you an example. You she said it's okay. <laughs> I've learned to some extent. Okay. I have some things in common with you, right? The yeah. internal anger. I've got this stuff, right? So I, when I was going to do the pilot of my talk show, the last thing my wife said to me, I, she got kind of misty-eyed, and I thought she was going to say, good luck. I can't believe this is happening. Right. She said, do you know it's Friday? It's trash day. Oh, for Christ's sake. Exactly. I should have thrown her right out of her. <laughs> But I love Guess her. Guess where she'd be. Why and do you I love trans her? I love her Explain because I translated the question. The question really wasn't, do you know it's trash? The question is, with you going out to Los Angeles to do this, are, are you, you going to forget about us, us here? Yeah. Right. Uh, do you well, understand you're, you're that incredible. you're still part... Part of not really. Wow. I, I lose it all the time. But that's the that's what you need to do is you have to take more responsibility. Right. I have to say for whether gee, you overwhelm her. Isn't it great? Right. I mean, yeah, yeah. I, I guess I do. More responsibility. I'm horrible. Uh, Howard, no, you're not. Howard, wait, wait, wonderful. Wait, wait, wait. No, Howard I'm has not. no you are, awareness of how he indicates that he's uncomfortable. Robin, people were scrambling at that party, yeah. coming up to me behind his back, going, "Is he okay? Right, what can we right. do?" And I was then falling his asleep. I've been up since four but in the morning. But it becomes about you. Right. It wasn't he about. I'm very whole important. World. Everybody was scrambling That's and worried, right. and yeah. his I, cousin went up. To the chef and was hurrying the chef just to I bring his meal out. Oh, yeah. I, I, said, hold it. I said nothing. <laughs> hold it. You're wrong. I You're said wrong. nothing. You were miserable. I was, but I said nothing. To, I sat oh, there quietly. Like this. No, like this. 
like I was that. asleep. Howard, I can can't re- stay awake. <laughs> yes, right. But they can read what you're doing. I mean, yeah, you know, I mean, Beth knows you better be- than anybody. I mean, you know. When you were sitting here on the air and you fell asleep, <laughs> Howard, look, could you it. control that? <laughs> no, because I choose to make the people happy in my life. I stay later and I fall asleep here. <laughs> I, I, was, I physically was falling Fuck asleep. the audience. I want, I want the chick in my life to like me. I, I, I no, but here's the I've thing. I've been up since four. Can it I give you seven o'clock. No one I had else it, was tired. I, had, I hadn't eaten. Well, I don't know what anybody else was anything. doing. I was having all the time. I didn't say anything to anybody. Wait a minute. Right. Gary's party was on a Saturday. I'm done there by 10 no, o'clock. I can't was, stay there away. Was no there was no next day to worry about. Motherfucker kept me there all night. I couldn't get a meal. With anybody else. With anybody else. What Howard did it Gary's party. Don't invite me anywhere. Not well, Dr. Happy. Evelyn, you don't even know. I heard they you wanted left at to... 9.35. Right. <laughs> we just started thinking about leaving. I at left. You should have served a goddamn meal, Gary. <laughs> Wait a minute. I got to tell Fight you. people over. You won't only, get up early. Not only did he leave, they, you know, Beth went to, I guess, the kitchen or something with Mary to get, you know, because she My wanted dessert to pass to go. <laughs> dessert for her. And Howard stood in the other room yeah, and screamed her name. She was ruining the party for other people. <laughs> <laughs> I and Ronnie had, to, Ronnie had to get up to get the car. Everybody's no, screaming no. and say bye to him. Benji's oh. sweating because he might say the wrong thing to Howard. I think, so listen, Benji's sweating I, on my I, stage. I, I, okay, so let's let's sum up. I'm a fucking miserable guy. No, you're not. No, you're I not. Am. No, you're not. Listen, you are. You're how, is she gonna, how is she going to be in a long-term marriage with me with a fucking idiot like You're, you're oh, not it. at all. And this is, it's just stop another, it. when, you, when you, see now, <laughs> see what she's doing with her eyes. She's doing what she does when she sees Telling a pet me she's that's damaged. Yeah. Yes, right. But you've reduced it to like, okay, if we're going to start to like look at me at all, I'm going to just throw in the towel and right, say I'm miserable. Right. That short circuits the discussion. Right. Where we were was saying maybe it's time to exert a little bit more in the way of responsibility caretaking of yeah. the people around you. You're such a forceful personality. You have such unbridled emotion. And How am I going to change all this? You can. Step by step. The doctor's here for you, brother. Wow. I'm I, telling you. Would you, you move in with us? Like Dr. Ronnie moved in with Ronnie. ready to go. <laughs> Dr. Ronnie got Robin under control. Maybe you get me under control. Hey, but wait, you know, let me go. just say, here's why yeah. I think it's going to work. Because, first of all, Beth really is an angel. Work. She's, I mean, well, the, I've yeah, never met angry. anybody in show business am I, as warm or as friendly or as kind. Oh. And, and yeah. I mean, honestly, I mean, look, if that's me a good or, or a bad thing. Oh, Beth. Oh. I mean, you're, you, I mean, deep down, you're a generous, great guy. You got this Clearly. career that's deep, maddening. Deep down, yeah. I think once you, I think once you retire and you're in a good place with your profession and you feel you've perfected this and it's time to leave, you will become more of a, uh, an easier person to live with. I guarantee it. You'll be rested. This how job is making not? me nuts, doctor. I mean, but how could so you not? Has, she has to wait for him to retire. But yeah. see, Beth is the type of Three person, <laughs> t- Beth is the type of person that can and uh, almost every woman I've ever dated, and here's why I think sometimes it's e- it's better to keep shit inside and do what Beth does, internalize it, because <laughs> you think so? Because, Thanks, because, Dude, because that's, that's, listen, here's I'm not how sure I'm last, signing on for that. Here's how my last relationship and I've okay. dated ninety percent oh of the broads boy, I've dated are it's Italian best to keep chicks things from inside and internalize them. But listen, some Just, things okay. like it, in the same situation. Yeah. Certainly, my last girlfriend and the last few I've had would have turned to me at that dinner and said, "Fuck you, I want dessert." Okay. And I'm like, okay, well, fuck you. I want to leave. I want fucking dessert. All right, I'll stay here and wait for you to get. And then, you know, and then it's like an argument that we're over her dessert. I usually end up going, look, fucking take the dessert, eat the fucking dessert. Right. <laughs> right. You know, and then and then and then we get in the car and but I'm what like, about speeding Artie, home. Artie's right. And I what mean, about maybe some of this is compromise? Well, what you're Artie saying, saying Artie is a good no. relationship. Artie is Artie's my co-therapist. No Artie, I applaud what you no, I applaud what you're saying. Well, no, what I'm saying is, I like to be like the Taliban. We're going now and. Let's go. What I'm saying is there's a happy medium. Beth is, yeah. I don't think Beth does resent stuff in Harbor. I really think she's she that doesn't. nice of a person, which is like a fucking a, a diamond so in the rough. So you would but, say because she can do everything, Howard doesn't have to do anything. No, 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 but I'm saying there's a compromise. She shouldn't do that all the time. Listen. But, but in that situation, and I've dated women who literally would say to me, fuck you, fat ass, I want to eat. No, but and there's I'll something. Like, fuck you, fuck you. And then we'll get home, I want to strangle her. And then I, I, we get up the next day and everything's Fuck off! Oh, dear. He's, the man made a excellent That's point. That's a good point. He, he has a point, but we're just but not he, all the he's, time. <laughs> I think Beth is mature well, enough to realize I'm not going to fight right, with him let, about let, a fucking let, dessert. Let Dr. Avila respond. Yeah. Oh my God. Here's I'm the thing. Sit down, Artie. Oh, sit you're down. Die. This wasn't about my you. My real question: Does Beth have a sister? <laughs> <laughs>
She did. She'd be in bed with us. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, honey. Uh, yeah. Well, Artie's describing another extreme. I'm describing a yes. normal Jersey relationship. Another Jersey, a Jersey relationship, if you will. Right. right? But the bottom line is there's something in between where yes. you, see, what we've skipped is you intuiting her feelings and saying, you knew it, by the yes. way. She loves dessert. Yes, she so does. You Who doesn't? Could, <laughs> you, 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 Isn't Artie a little bit right now like Tony, uh, Tony Jr. on The Sopranos, AJ? Yeah. <laughs> he just hijacked my therapy session, right. didn't no, he? But I'm saying, Ma uh, you know, Mary's desserts at Gary's party, they were fantastic. They missed Mary's desserts. Well, they also, no, we didn't. We got him in the car. It's not a gay thing, though. They also ruined the part. I mean, Mary... Okay. Was yes. devastated. Dr. Keith, if an etiquette person Care was going to choose thought. the worst time to leave a party, how it picked it, he hit it on the money. When would the rudest possible second be to leave a party? They were supposed to serve another course, and they were late. Ralph, you're and on the air. Go ahead. What do you want to say? How do you want them to eat anyhow? Yeah. I, I don't eat meat. A couple quick questions for Dr. Avalo. Yeah. First of all, uh, why is arguing healthy? Who wants to be with somebody who's bitching and, and moaning all the time? And, and also, Sometimes it is. And also the second part We didn't it, even say it has to be an argument. Let me finish. Wait a second. What, what is wrong with, uh, with that sort of of taking care of her man and and, and making some concessions right. like Artie is saying there. They're not huge things. She's not making these giant leaps of... She of, doesn't let me walk all over him. Trust yeah. me. But I don't think Dr. Avalos is saying I'm not that. saying that. I'm saying that, uh, first of all, what's healthy but They're arguing? Fine. She's perfect for him. Yeah. <laughs> no, don't she, change her. No, I've already <laughs> said she's perfect because if anyone has the chance to convince Howard that he's lovable at his core, it is this woman. Yes. There's no question. Right. Now, I'm tired from being up at 4 o'clock in the morning. I'm a right, and I really think oh when you God, leave, Ralph. When and you what leave Artie that says, life, what Artie it's going to be a different person. Let the doctor well, I don't speak. Know. But here's the thing. There's something that you communicate to us that I should make note, note of because it humanizes you even further which is that in that moment where you subtly or not so subtly communicate to people how in distress you are, yes. you're pleading, you're saying, I don't know if my needs are going to be fulfilled. I don't know if I'm going to be okay. And that comes from somewhere. Someone didn't full I'm serve too your needy. looks so sad right now, doesn't I'm, he? Well, he does. Dr. Abelo is right. I'm you too do. needy. I'm very needy. No, yeah, but I no, think no, Beth no, can pick and choose needy. her arguments. Oh, like, will what? you stop? I have one more point. Uh, I have one more point. We should, we should hear him out. He has good points. Oh the he has good points. No, no. He has good points. The yeah. dessert thing is somewhere where <laughs> Beth is yes, like, look, points. this is bullshit. I'm not going to start an argument. But she needs to pick and choose. Like with the rug thing, that would piss me off. I think there she should stand up and say, I love this rug. It's bullshit. I want to keep the I'll rug. Well, wait a minute. There, I, I think that's a bigger no, issue. She should stand up there. I'm just suggesting. Both people should be able to be comfortable. Right, right. It's a lot on you, Howard, because what you have to do is you have to summon the results to say, I'm going to not even let her notice that right now I'm crawling out of my skin because she loves dessert. Right. And I love her. And so I have a certain responsibility. I don't know if I can do that. <laughs> See, that's where I was trying to get like the this. doctor to go with you, that every once in a while, you could do that yes. for her. Show that it's at least I'm a choice in your head. I, let me tell you something. <laughs> Number one. I can't think of an example right now, but there are a lot of things I do for Beth. Of course He's there are. Oh, please. Well, He's wonderful. Please. saying so you don't. For me. And the big question is going to come up if there is this discussion that transpires about children, which I know you've alluded to it, and I, I wouldn't be a psychiatrist worth anything if I didn't note that we skated right over that. We did. Right. And she's nodding because no, she's like, no, well... No, 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 no. I made it very clear from the beginning. I've never wanted to have... Never wanted to have children. Ever. I was right. a little girl. I knew I didn't... I, I didn't think I was going to get married either, <laughs> but that changed. See? No change, yeah. So I am, I, you, again, right, right up front, I said to him, I don't want to have children, but that could change. I'm not going to say I'm never going to want to have children for the rest of my life. I've never said that to him. That's right. He's chosen to ask me to marry him, knowing my, that you might, that want I to. might want to have children. And, and if she does, you would. <laughs> no, I think we I just wouldn't. lost He it. wouldn't. See, I wouldn't. Yes, he he would. Would. I cannot, yes, he I cannot would. have more children. Uh, he will. I mean, it's something that you, just would, would not be good for me. You well, let's just uh, let's just pause a moment. And for me, and I'm tell the very truth. Selfish. That's a big. It's very I selfish. Brought you my book, and I will feel horrible. I, I shouldn't be yeah. plugging, but you don't have to plug my book. I'm fine. I'm more concerned about getting you in the right. Yeah, here's the thing. You know, Beth says to me, "You would undo our beautiful relationship if I wanted to have children. You wouldn't do that for me." And the fact of the matter is, I wouldn't do that to the children. In other words, a father. I've, I've, I'm a father to three girls. A father's got to be fully committed. And Yet fully we're embarking on this <sighs> thing. We're embarking yeah. on with you knowing that you I knowing can change I my don't mind. Want but children. the reason why I'm not <clears throat> saying no, I'm not marrying you because of this, because I may never want to have children. Why ruin something? Yeah. 
That's but so you What do you think of that, Doctor? What do you think of that? I do. Yeah, you I believe do. in me. I believe, believe in us too. Yeah. To, if it really gets to us. that point, I I, th- I really don't think that you're going to let our life go. For the sake of, you're worried that you can't do that to a child. No, we will have our life together, but we just won't have children. You'll have to sit there and hate me. <laughs> no, but that's See, where I'm we're not going to not go that, there. That's where we're not yeah, going crazy. to go, of course. Right. right, because what you're saying. See, now we crystallize everything. <laughs> go ahead. What you're saying is, if it comes to be your fondest hope and desire to have a child, um, I I am saying at least, and I'm not sure it's true, by the way, because you're a giving spirit underneath it all. Mm-hmm. I'm, you're saying, I would literally say it's a deal breaker. You best just take that part of yourself and consider it not in play. Even though you've already heard from her, I might want to do it. I, I think you need to at least say now, <laughs> I might do it if you really want it. I might. I might. I don't want to mislead, that. I don't want to mislead Beth. That. I love her you've so much. That. I want to be honest. How, you're a good father. I'm he's a, a wonderful your, your father. I'm an okay father. No, a he's a wonderful father. father. He's a great yeah, father. Yeah, he's a wonderful... I live his life with him. He is a wonderful, present father. But okay. I'm, I am now 53 years old. I'm being honest. Perfect time. No. I am 53... <laughs> Dr. Abelo, yes. I am 50, 53 years old. My fallopian tubes are dry. <laughs> Mine are going to dry up, you, and then they'll be fine. I am telling you, doctor. Doctor, look yeah. at me uh, yeah. when I talk to you. <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm trying to gauge how I, there's a point she's in my life where I want to do certain things with the rest of my life. Ah. Uh-huh. I don't want to be watching kids. Uh-huh. I don't want to be taking care of kids. Yeah, but here's the problem. Get a Nigerian. Be, here's the I problem. You fell in love with Ni- a woman who's not sure she doesn't want that. That's the trouble. And ultimately, and we got a problem. Maybe. Well, so what are you no, telling I, me? I don't <laughs> want to have kids. I know she's that. She's not sure. I, I she don't. said you're not sure. But that can change in five years. I really. I'm That's, I'm be, not sure. That's I'm going to be 35 years old. I'm going past my. Childbearing age. You're not sure either because you're sure. marrying her and she said she's not sure. You don't want a I'm miserable relationship. Her, uh, under no pre- false pretense. You would never, ever do it. I cannot no have way. more children. But I you said you wouldn't them. get married also. It would also. make me miserable. But you said you wouldn't get married. It's different. I met Beth. See, I'm not worried and about this whole thing. It's different again. No, she's very he confident. He proposed to me knowing all of this. Now, listen, by the way, I'm sure I, I never want to suck a man's penis. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. You're telling me I'm not sure? That ain't going to change. It ain't going to change ever. That I believe. I'm not doing it. I'm not blowing a guy. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry, I Dr. Abelow. You. If you said to me, well, I'll be my change. I'm not changing. <laughs> no, I believe that. I mean, if you we tell believe me that gonna, about you. I'm a sweat Someone and you're going to stick me your, I... Dr. Abelow, if you're going to put your penis in my mouth while I'm sleeping, okay, that's one thing. Yeah. See, he's getting uncomfortable. Yeah. He's, he's getting he's uncomfortable. Get, he's using he's his humor, too. You what you have. Yeah. Humor, I'm telling you, you the gotta truth. you got to live the you're... truth, honey. Living yeah. the truth. Look at the book. Right here, Dr. Keith Abelow's book, Living the Truth Transforms Your Life. I might have to read this. I you like seem to know what guy. you're talking about. Yeah. I'm here Why for you. You, know, you, it's good. you can read it. You can call me. I, I have to say beautiful. from this session, I am completely encouraged, excited, and excited. thrilled you about are? everything. I feel this She's was thinking of baby a names. very positive. No, I'm not. Yeah. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Not. I didn't mean names. That slipped out. That's not a therapeutic statement. You're trying to be funny. I'm sorry. Yeah, that is trying to be funny. No, I'm excited that this was, you know, I. Okay, yes. I just am excited. I feel really good. Of course, she's excited because guess I feel good. Do you know that not enough people, this is rare, that two people would say, you know, bring it on. Mm -hmm. Let's get Ablo in here. I wouldn't. Fuck that. And let's get under the hood of this relationship (laughs) because we love each other. I like this. I do. I'm more in love. I am so in love with this man and I'm excited to, this is a challenge and it's wonderful. We're embarking in a great uh, thing. I I think for the healthiest thing you guys could do is I think Beth should have a baby on a white rug while she's eating dessert. (laughs) So you're making jokes, <laughs> but this is very Howard, serious, Howard, serious Howard. stuff. I, honey, I want to marry you more than ever right now. Really? Uh, yes. Howard, Isn't that great? Right here, I'm ready, to, I'm ready to have sex right in front of Dr. Avalo. Uh, do you <laughs> consider this a challenge, Howard? <laughs> What is a challenge? <laughs> what? Do I consider what is a challenge? Me? What are we talking I'm about? I'm the challenge here. But I said, do you consider the relationship a challenge? A challenge? Yes, of course I do. It's always a challenge no, when you I meant, have to... I, I meant on a feeling level. It hasn't been challenging to you. Listen, it's been the easiest thing yeah. I've ever been involved yeah. in. And, and as Dr. Abelow points out, well, maybe that's not so healthy in the sense it's, that it's been that Beth's making it too easy so for me. Not so easy, yeah, for well, on the other side. That's yeah. right. I get it. I hear what he's saying, and it concerns me. I don't ever want to be a negative force in Beth's life. I don't want to be a person who doesn't consider her feelings. And I can turn into that kind of asshole. Believe me, I, I know it. I do it all the time. 
And the fact of the matter is I'm going to try and keep certain things in check and be aware of certain things. That's going to be my commitment to Beth. And I'm going to always try to be a loving, giving person. But it is a challenge for me. You better believe it is. That's the challenge. Uh, Your challenge is with you. I'm horribly yeah. selfish. Well, I'm I would like to see one day where you go out and don't cause the white tornado. That would be a lovely day. I do that. <laughs> do I always cause a white tornado? Do I? I must, right? I you must. Can, you can tell him. Kind of, yeah. You do. It's okay. It's okay. And I'm going to learn to speak up and be honest about those type of things. Well, yes. tell me. I would appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, I would. You know, I'm not challenged you know, by that. You know what you're going to notice? That she tells you these things, right? Some of which may sound critical. And then you're going to notice that she loves you even, even more. Even more, yeah. In other words, you're going to finally... It's going to feel critical. It is. Uh, but I'm going to... very I'm, defensive. I'm defensive. Yeah. And but that was the, the lesson of Marley and me, that I was like, <sighs> I can't believe that you got that, and then you let it go. Well, and here it is again. I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Keith, I've been having a lot of problems with my bookie, and I think you could do a world... <laughs> well, maybe you ought to come and cancel me and Artie. Say, Artie yeah. doesn't think I'm his bro. See, this is a typical example of you. We had an argument. You don't let it go forever. I'll be tortured with the bro forever. thing. Forever. No, it hurt. And it hurt, look, my friend. Uh, hey, you hurt and I've explained you to you me. it was a dumb thing to say in an argument. Well, you but, many a truth is said in an argument. Well, and, I, I don't think so. And you felt you felt uh, hurt. I felt a little hurt. Here we go. I did. Yeah, I did. I'm being honest. Yeah, I chose. He's still listen, hurt. He didn't in the let middle it go. of an argument, I chose to give you a jab that you're older than me. Okay, and that's how I did it. And that's a dumb, nah. stupid. Yeah, but Artie, listen, you but can't. You, you, you don't. You want. You don't want to get close to me. Let's not argue. House. Oh yeah. Well, I feel nothing but uh, affection you... from you to get close to you. Listen, I'm the guy who reached out and made phone calls to you after all your appearances. Howard, I'm the guy who reached I'm, out to you Howard, in the I green know. room and I got you the name of a psychiatrist. I'm the guy who reaches out to you. Okay, you I'm glad out Beth and him are here. I'm glad Beth and him are here. Okay, here's what the argument. Wow. Okay. First of all, the whole thing. The whole thing was under false pretenses from that witch over there. Bullshit! Don't bring me in. You did make up something. The right. real toxic the in the room is, is over there. Everything that came out of it was true. Now go ahead. Robin said I called Howard a jerk in anger, a total lie, a, a lie that happened? I could sue you but for. Then what happened? You 